And I'll show you some of the things that I've written. They're every little personal. But my soulmate won't like seeing this video if she sees it. <laughs> because she doesn't like anything private being public. So my apologies to my soulmate. But it's important. So one other thing is my soulmate did say to me that I need to be open and more open and honest about my emotions. <laughs> yes. So that's what I'm doing. And so, yeah, um, here's one. This was on the 7th of June. Um, I'm getting major projections of anger and fear from Mary. Major rejection. Feels like she wants nothing to do with me at all. I feel like we were overseas and I feel like going home without her. I feel like she hates me and hates me being alive. I feel like if I died, she'd be happier. So the expectation I have is that Mary longs for me like I do her. Right? The reality is that Mary dislikes me in her life because of the emotions that are getting triggered within her and she wants to avoid me. And what am I avoiding? I'm avoiding the feelings of being rejected by my soulmate. Like I'm avoiding feeling that my soulmate hates me and would rather that I'd never been born. So, you know, that's still a big emotion for me. Well, that's just what you're feeling. That's not the truth. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's not the truth. But you're into truth. No, 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 you don't understand. This is an emotional error that I need to get out of me. The only way I can experience an emotional error is to actually admit the truth of what I'm feeling to myself. You follow me? So I feel right now, I feel, I know it's an error. Yeah. And I, and, but, I, but telling myself that it's not an error is not going to benefit me. What I need to do is just feel that my soulmate feels I'd rather never been born. I need to feel that, because that's an emotion in me still. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. But isn't there a, a, an emotion even deeper than that? Oh, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just list listing a few <laughs> from my journal. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, here's a good one. I don't know if Mary will like this one, but sorry. Mary. And the day ended with a phone call to Mary in Switzerland. I was I was in England and she was in Switzerland. And the phone call ended with Mary telling me to fuck off <laughs> and hanging up on me. She's so angry with me, and most of the time I can feel her hatred. And my expectation is that Mary treats me well. And the reality is that she's not capable of treating me well because she doesn't want to fully choose all of her emotion. So she was willing to project it onto me. And what I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding feeling mm -hmm. unloved, hated and rejected by myself. And like, I can still feel those emotions in me, even though I've been crying about them since mm. the 7th of June. Mm. So the 7th of June is now what? It's five weeks. Mm. Is it as intense as it was then, the emotion? No, it's not. So it is feeling... But uh, like, I can yeah. still feel it. Mm. It's, it's, it's interesting, it's totally different uh, feeling by yourself than it is saying to somebody else that you... You know, so yeah. this is interesting for me too, because I don't normally <coughs> talk about my emotions very much. 